Hi, uh, my name is Daniel, and I'm here to talk to you guys about milk, cow milk specifically. Cow milk is a diet, is a, um, it's a staple in the American diet. It is found in lots of foods, such as cream, butter, cereal, everything that people eat every day. Um, I'm here to claim that milk isn't necessary in your life. And here are my three reasons as to why. First off, cow milk is not meant for humans. They're actually meant for baby cows, also known as calves. Um, second, <laughs> um, cow milk helps promote prostate cancer cells. And that is because um, the way that cows are processed nowadays, they are injected with hormones so that they, um, they increase cow, I mean milk output. And um, because of that, IGF-1 is increased, which is a insulin growth-like factor. And my third reason is um, cow milk is it's an insufficient source of nutrients. Sure, people are going to say, oh, it has calcium, it's good for your bones. But the cons that comes with milk, it's not worth it. There's different sources of calcium, and it's not always good for your bones. There's different ways. Um, first off, cow milk is meant for cows. That is because... Um, the cow, just, just like how cow milk is meant for cows, human milk is meant for babies. The hormones and the nutrients in the cow milk is meant for a baby cow to grow into a big cow. Same as how um, milk from a mother is meant for a baby so that he grows into a full grown human. And that is because um, cow milk, it lacks vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and iron compared to that of human milk. Um, what each of these things do is vitamin D, um, it helps build stronger bones so that rickets do not happen, which is basically um, your bone structure. Like if you see how I can bend my arm? Well, some people have rickets and that makes it hurt, so that's bad. And um, vitamin C improves the absorption of zinc and iron, and those two are very important for growth, stature, and healthy immune systems. Um, my second point is that Cow milk helps promote prostate cancer cell. And how that is done is because of cows are injected with RBGH, which is a growth hormone that increases milk output by 20%. And that also increases IGF-1, which is an insulin growth-like factor. While um, the insulin growth-like factor is normal, it is meant for tissue in the skin. It helps promote growth. But when you have a lot of IG, um, IGF-1, it promotes prostate cancer cell growth. Um, also, there are studies by um, the World Health Organization that reports from 1985 to 1989 from 59 countries and United Nations food balance data um, that there's a strong correlation between milk consumption and prostate um, growth, uh, prostate cancer growth. Um, there was also a 20-year study of prostate cancer mortality among California Seventh-day Adventists reported a dose-related increase, increased risk of prostate cancer. <clears throat> and also, cow milk can trigger things like lactose intolerance, eczema, allergies. So, yeah. And then uh, my last claim is that cow milk, it's an insufficient source of nutrients. There's way different and much better um, alternatives um, to get calcium. Um, the government has recommended that People should take 800 to 1300 milligrams to promote healthy bones and prevent osteoporosis, which is a disease in the bone. And um, several studies show that it's not milk that helps promote strong bones early on. It's actually exercise and calcium. And calcium can be found in veggies, tofu, all this good stuff, which is better than milk. Um, also, milk is very high. And saturated fat and cholesterol, which has, um, which is related to um, clogged arteries and um, other heart problems. Um, yeah, that is my. Argument.
Right, Daniel, the proposition is pretty clearly set up. Uh, the secondary claims you labeled at the beginning and you signposted them in the body of the speech, although the phrasing on them is not always uh, uh, as clearly declarative as it ought to be. Sometimes, especially in the preview, you start uh, giving an explanation of the argument before you even labeled what the argument is. Wait until you get to the argument to start explaining all the stuff about uh, bovine growth hormone and I IGFV one and five and all those other things that you're talking about that promote some of the uh, problems that you're talking about. Uh, the data that you cited, I think some of it is kind of old. We've got studies from 86 to 89, and then there was a, a study of the Seventh-day Adventists. I'm not exactly sure what the date was on that, but I remember hearing it many, many years ago in similar arguments. So it sounds to me like there isn't any really recent information on this particular point, and I you know, is there a way that you can correlate the amount of consumption of milk with the growth of prostate cancer, for instance? It would be easier for us to accept that if you could see some uh, correlative trends along with the uh, studies that you're making reference to. By the way, those studies are very vaguely referred to. You know, it's this studies back from 1986 to 89. I don't know who did those studies, what studies you're referring to. You're going to have to give a lot of leeway to the response speaker in answering those particular points. Um, the uh, vitamin issue, I thought, was... Uh, Okay, except that you suggest that we can get uh, sufficient vitamins from other sources and you need to be able to demonstrate that, in fact, the amount of calcium that you get from the vegetables would be equivalent to what they'd be getting from milk. I don't know what the comparison would be, but if I had to eat you know, 40 celery stalks in order to get the same amount of vitamin D or calcium that I get in a glass of milk, you could see why that would be a little bit of an issue uh, and it would be problematic. So you need uh, some comparative data on those points. Um, at the end of the presentation, it felt a little bit rushed also, so it seemed like you got to that last point and felt a little bit less certain about developing it. Uh, than you had earlier. Each of the points needs, I think, some more information to support it. The structure is fine. The idea of the argument is fine. The proof, I think, is vague, and some of it sounds dated. All right. Thank you.